but it's easy to put your relationship with your partner on the back burner. And mm-hmm. I feel it's so important, incredibly important. I mean, we had sex dates. Like, oh, we had to have sex once a week. That was like a rule in our house because otherwise we wouldn't get around to it. Heidi, uh, this is the first time where I'm admitting it. We do too. <laughs> <laughs> we do too. <laughs> yeah, once a week. We have we always say we should do it more often, but once a week. And you know, when I was younger and I when I would hear that, I'd be like, why do you have to do oh, that? I like, know. you know what I mean? No, but you you do. Like you said, it's like you do, especially with kids and with work and all that. Like you have to to make sure that it's not neglected in any kind of way. All right, guys, what it do, what it does. It's your boy, Bugsy Smooth. Welcome back to another video. Please smash that like button and please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get updated on my latest content as I drop. All right, so let's get into today's game. Y'all heard the audio clip. Y'all heard what Tia Maori was saying. Now, for those of y'all who don't know who Tia Maori is, she's an actress. She's well known for her uh, role on the TV show Sister Sister that came on back in the day. Um, real popular show. I was a child when that show came out. I remember watching it. It had Marcus Houston in it and her twin sister, T- um, uh, Tamara Maori. It's Tia and Tamara Maori. That, that's that's it. Yeah, that's their names. So um, she's also known for her... Um, for her portrayal on on um, her role on the game. If y'all ever see the TV show, The Game, it's on Netflix. Y'all go check it out. Good show, by the way. Real good show. She's married to another um, who, another guy who's also an actor. His name is Corey Hardrick. Um, he did um, the show called The Oath. If you ever seen the show called The Oath, real good show. Um, check it out if you haven't. He's also a good actor. He's good. Um, so they've been married for about 11, 12 years now. Um, and one of the things that, you know, Tia Maori was speaking about in that clip, she says that, you know, one thing that's keeping their marriage together is their schedule and sex. Right. So they decided to schedule sex and schedule a time to get it in. Now, I'm going to give you all the Mac in perspective. OK, perspectives from a Mac right here. OK, my alpha males watching this, my Max, my players, my true players to the game. I'm going to tell you all something. Right. I'm going I'm to put some game up in your earlobe. Anytime you dealing with a woman who has to schedule sex with you, the relationship in the marriage is over. Charge her to the game. Give her back to the streets. I'm going to say it again. Anytime a woman has to schedule sex with you, the relationship or the marriage or whatever y'all got going on is over with. Charge it to the game. Give her back to the streets. She's so busy, right? She got a career and all these things going on. She just has to schedule time. Thursday, 8 o'clock is when we can have sex. Cool. No problem. Goodbye, though. Divorce. Hit the divorce button. Eject. All right? Let me tell you, that's a woman who's not that into you. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's a woman who's not that. See, women who are truly into you guys right? They are going to jump on you when they see you. They can't keep their hands off you. They can't wait to see you. Sex ain't nothing but 10 minutes. At 10, 15 minutes, couple pumps. We good. That's all we need. Ain't nobody going an hour and some change with sex. Sex is not a lunch break. It ain't an hour uh, uh, time. It ain't 30 minutes. Just pull up, I'm going to pull my meat out. All right. We're going to get it in for five, 10 minutes and you can go back doing whatever it is you got to do. All right. And the whole excitement of sex is the spontaneity of it. It's supposed to be spontaneous. That that's what the excitement of sex is. It's spontaneous. It's fun. It's exciting. You're not expecting it to happen. It just happens. That's what makes it exciting. When you at work, you in your office and your your girl come up, pull up and say, I'm outside. You come outside and she get to just suck it. Just put my, my, my boy. Come on now, you weren't expecting that. You you come up in the uh, in, in, early in the morning. You clock into work. You look on the phone. A nude come on the phone. Attachment one text. Exciting. You wasn't expecting that. This is a woman who never sent you a nude before, and boom, she sent you a nude. Th- that's exciting. She pull up 
at the end of your work shift. You didn't even know she was in the parking lot. You get in and y'all get it in right there. Spontaneous. Okay. See, when you got to schedule sex and let me tell y'all something right there. She's doing the bare minimum. And, and for those of y'all, I know there's going to be people, simps and, and beta males and the, the feminists going to come on here. Oh, she's not doing the bare. How is she doing the bare minimum? She She's trying. She's actually filling in a time to see him and have sex with him. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing. It works for them. OK, let me tell you why she's doing the bare minimum. I guarantee you I'm willing to bet this this car right here, my, my house, all of it. I'll bet it all. I'll put it all on the line. That before they got married, they were having sex 100 miles per hour. I'm willing to bet. She was doing all the things. She was feminine, you know. And I don't think Tia Mari doesn't give me masculine vibes. She doesn't really give me those Monique vibes, though, a little masculine behavior. No, no, she don't give me that. But I, I, I guarantee you. She was pulling out all the stops before they got married. Sex, whenever that man wanted, didn't have to schedule a damn thing. All right. Uh, uh, um, she probably was doing that. all these exciting things to try to get uh, uh, the ring. The minute she got married now and now she feel like her job can slow up a little bit. See, women want to get in these positions of, of marriage because they want to get comfortable. They want to chill. You know, they want to gain that 10, 15 extra pounds, sit on the on the couch, eating ice cream, watching TV while the man is providing, you know, being a housewife, taking care of the kids, chilling. So what if I gain 20 pounds? You're going to forever love me. And if what, what you going to do if I ain't giving you sex? We got to schedule. See, now let me tell you all something. Right. This is the funny part. Right. If Corey were to say. You know what? I'm getting tired of this whole scheduling sex thing. I don't want sex on Thursday at eight o'clock now. I just want sex whenever I want it. And she ain't willing to break that agreement. She's like, no, we're going to oh, always. This is the only time I have time to have sex with you. And he step out and go with some other chick. Right. Because he can do it now. He's in the Hollywood space. Ain't like he can't replace Tia Maori. He can if he wants to. Right. And he does that or he step out and, and he cheat. Guess who's going to pay the price? He is. Nobody's going to look back. See, the, the, he's going to get have to pay spousal support. He's going to be the villain. He's going to be the bad guy. Oh, you you cheated on Tia Maui. Nobody is going to care that this man been asking for the for umpteen odd years that, oh, she she wouldn't have sex with me any other day besides Thursday at eight o'clock. I don't even know why I'm picking Thursday at eight o'clock at all days. But th th that's just the example I'm giving. Damn it. I, I just assume that they just on thirsty Thursdays, they having sex at 8 p.m. I don't know. OK, but. The point of the matter is this, okay? The fact that she has to schedule sex, she is doing the bare minimum because she wasn't doing that before. Women know what they're signing up for when they get married. They know that they got to sleep with their man, their man got needs. He's giving up. See, Corey is what you call, I would say, a high value male. He's in the position where he's making money. He's doing a job that he appears to love, okay? He's in the Hollywood spaces. It's not like he don't got options now. He's not a bad looking dude. I'm pretty sure at any moment he can get a woman who's better looking or or just as good looking as Tia. I, I'm pretty sure he can. I'm more than sure he can. Right. And she knows that. See, the, the older women get. The more their value decreases. You know why? Because their looks are starting to decrease. Men, on the other hand, a man at 45, he's getting to the peak of his financial earnings, his career. He's growing more and more value. He can get the women who are 28, 27 years old, the young girls, 25 years old, fly. You know what I'm saying? He can get that. He can replace Tia with that. Tia knows that. She can't necessarily replace a guy like Corey. Knows the hell she can't. Okay? So, so she, the consequence of Corey leaving, if he gets fed up with that and he leaves, he's going to have to pay the price. See, this is the, the consequences of getting married to a Western woman. These are the consequences right here, guys. I'm telling you. And and y'all y'all pay attention to this, right? If they ever were to get a divorce, okay, because of this same reason, you're going to see who's going to be the villain in this situation. It's going to be him. Nobody's going to ever look at, oh, you know, he may have wanted sex or whatever. And I know y'all thinking, well, he agreed to it. He agreed. Yeah, he agreed to it. Yeah, he agreed. They, that don't mean that he ain't sick of it. You can't tell me a man is okay with scheduling sex. If he can do better, he would. And I'm sure he can do better. 
Okay. See, th th that's the thing right there. See, the scheduling sex, the, the ridiculousness and the sheer insane thought of that is wild to me. I'll be damned. Anytime, just to recap this video, guys, I'm going to drill it in y'all head again. Anytime you get a woman who has to schedule sex with you or she's not jumping on you, she's not physically, you know when a woman's into you. She can't keep her hands off you. You have to schedule sex. She ain't that into you. Charge it to the game and get better because you can get better. You ain't working all this hard grinding throughout the week on your grind, on your purpose, Monday through Friday, just to get a chick who's giving you sex, scheduling it eight o'clock on a Thursday. Damn it. I'm out, man. Holla at your boy, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Y'all be easy, man.